Hi guys, so this is my analysis on Solana. What are my expectations on Solana? So let's analyze Solana together, guys. You can see right there, this is our lowest. The thing you can see an imbalance right here. This is the net. I can draw my trend line right here as well. And let's see, this is this the daily time frame. Okay. So. So, what am I, what are we seeing in Solana based on our current price action right here? can see that um, we can see that this is the lowest Solana has been we can see this is at our previous low right here and we broke structure out of that previous low which is this structure right here so um, what am I expecting in Solana what I'm expecting on Solana is it's not really that clear at the moment right now and that my reason is because my reason is because um where Solana is right now it's it's um it has a creep point right now you can see we've been rejecting of this whenever like um candle reaches this trend line it's rejected with the trend line so what I'm seeing right now is we've been rejecting out of this trend line, right? So there is a possibility that we might just continue to reject. And there's also an imbalance yet to fill. So there's a possibility we continue to inject to around uh, to around let's see. Let me put around this around eleven dollars so there's a possibility we continue to reject to this level around eleven around that that's what I'm saying so but let me use my trend line of what I'm saying we can see um but if we zoom in right if we zoom in there is a lot of imbalances to be filled right here okay so what I'm seeing um so look if you look at the monthly time frame, there's an imbalance around this level that we think needs to be filled, which is around yeah, around seventy six. So there's a possibility it might get to that place because you can see if you look at the monthly time frame, this was an engulfing candle. Engulfing candle around this area right here. So it's a possibility that there's a bullish momentum at the current current time and right now we're still in the sizes and my reason is because we can see right at this right here there was an imbalance here to fill so there's a possibility that it just pushed up to fill this imbalance and continue to push down but we will be if you're going more of a bullish route i think i'll prefer to break this structure here we break this two structure here then there's a possibility that we are now more of like um a bullish move maybe to this net imbalance because you can see there is an imbalance around this level that needs to be filled right here so that what i'm seeing so let's go to the other conference so as of now if you see how the pattern is um the pattern of the price action you can see there's an impulse there's a correction so and the way the pattern is there's a possible reversal around because there's a descending correction so there's a possible reversal that we might push up to at least this level right here so that's a possibility around this level right here around maybe like 50 that's a possibility we might push up to that level because of um, the 90 percent rule right but like i said this is also very tricky around this let me zoom in this is also very tricky around this area because you can see there was an impulse here and this might just be like a possible correction of this impulse right here to fill in the imbalance 
imbalance, you feel in the imbalance before we now continue to push down. There is a possibility that that's what is happening. But um in the three day time frame. But like I said, because of where it the price action is currently, it's kind of tricky because like I said, we'll be bouncing off this trend line. So what I'm thinking is there is a possibility that we may push down to let me draw my feet. Let me get to her. So let's see. So as Solana, right? There is a possibility that we might just be pushing down currently to see. So right now there's a possibility that we might just be pushing down to at least this level right here to this level. And I will explain my reason. So let me just pull this time around around this level. 42 and here 12 so right now this is like the current price action i'm thinking it might happen and i explain why my reason is because you can see right here there is an imbalance right here and there is also an other block right here and that also aligns with my 78.6 percentage level so those are my confluences that we might start rejecting out of that level. Confluences of rejection. Around that level, right? Uh, if we are going on a buy. And if you've watched my analysis, <laughs> you've known that my target most of the time is always around my negative 27% food level. And that is also very enclosed, if you see right here with the imbalance that needs to be filled that needs to be filled up to be filled up so that's also aligned back with it so now that i'm thinking that we might possibly push up a little bit to this level right here or probably this level right here to my um negative 61.8 percent feed level and that why right, because you'll be seeing a lot of rejection right here and there's a rejection right here so there's a possibility it might want to feel that as well that's also a possibility that it might want to feel that as well but as of right now this is what i am seeing and that oh, i'm seeing a little bit more buy and that is because of how the pattern has shown you have seen the pattern of the descending channel and more of a descending channel can lead to a short buy right so there's a possibility in my buy to at least right at this level right here which is around like 90 percent level so that is what i'm thinking on solana out of the moment and that is my analysis so if you enjoy my analysis guys please don't forget to subscribe share like and comment and if you have any question just leave it down below and i will see you in my next analysis thank you